right. <laughs> Next up, John Henshaw at Henshaw on Twitter, and maybe the best interview we ever had here on Marketing Clock back when we did it. interviews, put out a fantastic article on Koi Wolf News. Koi Wolf is a fantastic digital marketing community that you can hop in and get special kind of secret forums you can pay for and they're membership only. But he put out a great article talking about why Apple may have a search engine soon that will compete against Google. And he talks about the change that is happening in Spotlight Search on iOS and iPad OS 14, where they're bypassing Google. Um, some of the changes that may be happening overseas with Google being the default search engine where they've been paying billions of dollars to Apple. And there's also some additional items in a support document from Apple. So John went through and it's a fantastic article because it, it lays everything out really well. Um, and he started by saying it wasn't clear if Apple uses Bing anymore. The results are labeled only as Siri suggestions. Um, in Spotlight Search. So there's this new option out there and it looks like it might be specifically Apple. Um, and Apple recently updated its Apple Bot web crawler page. So the update talks about how you can verify traffic came from Apple Bot, expanded details on the Apple Bot user agent, including differences between desktop and mobile version, some expanded robots.txt rules for Apple. Um, and a few other sections. So they've been kind of bolstering around this Apple bot and the potential for a search engine. And this is absolutely enormous, right? Like if you were Tim Cook or Tim Apple from Apple, <laughs> um, you would absolutely think about the, some next steps, right? And as bad as Apple Maps have been or as bad as Siri has been, People still use that and people, especially folks that use Apple, they're like very committed and aren't going to leave to go to a different platform. Um, and they're going to deal with what comes their way. And if you can start making money off of search and making your own results, even if they're not, you know, phenomenal, if it's more convenient, it is going to be a fantastic revenue generator for Apple. So, um, you know, why wouldn't they do this? Only concern is, do you, you got, you are both Apple folks, correct? Yep. Yep. Do well, you, iPhone, do you, not my computer. Do you use Siri? No. Yeah. I mean, I, I think to me, that's the big, do you use Apple Maps? No, no. Okay. I, I think to me, that's the biggest challenge, right? Is like, what if Apple search stinks? They launch it and it's like Siri and all of a sudden people are like, I'm, no, I'm not doing it. I'm going to go install Assistant or I'm going to go install Alexa and I'm going to go live my life through these different apps. Um, I think Maps people come around a little bit on, but Siri, I think it's gotten better. When I first used it, it was unusable. She's so, useless. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's my only concern is if Apple search is like Siri, then... Apple, you're in trouble. But if not, I mean, you heard it here first. Bye, 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 Apple stock right now. Like what you saw? Of course you did. If you're looking for more, Marketing and Clock releases new episodes every Friday with the digital marketing news of the week. You can subscribe wherever you consume your podcasts or click to watch the full episode, the next news story, or read all the articles from the show.